So this is a kit review of the excellent Mini Art 135th scale. Uh, this boxing is the Fokker Wolf FWC 30A, but it is also the same as the other two that have come out. There's no difference, only the decals. So it's all, also a Rotor 671, I believe it's called, and um, a Sierra C30A. It's the it's the auto gyro that was uh, built by Sierra in Spain in the 30s and uh, also built under license by Avro in the UK and Fokker Wolf in Germany. Um, there was a slight change, the French had one but they did change the engine so I think that had nine cylinders, this has seven. So this is the same engine, it may, well, it may be a German version of it but it, for all intents and purposes it's the same engine. So I'll be building this one as a Sierra C30, uh, no surprises it will be one of the ones from the Spanish Civil War. So let's have a look in the box and see what we get. So first off we just have a quick run through the instructions here. With the German one uh, you actually get some interesting marking schemes. So you've got 1934 here and then we've got another two, no we've just got one more um, and this is Germany late 30s. Again simple scheme, uh, pretty much the one colour all over with just the uh, civil markings almost. Uh, but there is a swastika there to go on the tail which is on the decals. So, uh, we've got a few sprues in this one, as well as a nice fret of photo etch uh, metal. And the colour callouts here are for Vallejo, Mr. Colour, Life Colour, Tamiya, AK, Mission Models, Hataka, Ammo Mig, and the colour name. So, that's a pretty exhaustive list of colours, should be enough to keep everyone happy. Uh, very nice CAD drawings here for the uh, instructions. Very clear, it could be a little bit complex, you could get lost. I would um, imagine this is a perfect scenario to be ticking things off as you go because it does look a little bit, you know, you could run through one onto the next one and get a bit confused. But we're straight through the engine into the cockpit, building up with the sidewalls so we get the framing there for the cockpit sidewalls and it's all together rather quickly. Then we jump a page. So then we're on to the fuselage halves coming together. So we've got a couple bits going on the inside and you think about whether you're gonna have the door open or closed. Um, then when the two halves are together, we get straight on to sorting out where the rotor blades go above and get the front uh, cowling on as well. And I believe this part here is a handle. They used to move it to um, make the, the rotor blades uh, give a direction. That's my understanding of it. Uh, then we've got the tailplane coming together so you've got the horizontal stabilizers going on with the bracing bars on the underside and then the quite complex um, well looking but it actually is I've built one of these in smaller scale once you get it together this precarious looking undercarriage here does actually give you quite a bit of strength because there's a lot of bracing bars to go on the side of the fuselage and then the two-part wheels go on. A few bits of photo etch cropping up here and there. So we've got the um, front plate for the propeller and a few places like that. And then we're just into sorting out the rotor blades where we've got photo etch on each rotor blade, three blades on top, and you can have it in the flying position or the transport position, but you do have to make a decision. It's not interchangeable. And there's an example of how it would look. I think a lot of people are probably going to go for that one, given that it's a bit more of a uh, compact model as the rotor blades are quite long. So looking inside the box we've got very good packaging and in here we've got the clear parts and the decals and in this square there, in fact you've actually got it twice by the looks of it. I'm not sure why we've got it twice, but these are the dials here for the instrument. Oh, there's two instrument panels. Sorry, yes, there's two instrument panels. So you've got the um, dials twice, because uh, it's a two-seater. The decals are by Decograph, printed in the Ukraine. You've also got the red areas for the tail, if you want to um, add that. And the swastika goes in the middle of there. And then the lettering down the side. That looks pretty good. Never use mini art decals, so not sure what to make of them very hard to tell on a decal sheet. Then we've got the photo etch. So we've got some belts and a few other small parts that are on there as well. Very useful to have that included because uh, seat belts are, are a major thing for me on aircraft so I do like it when they're included. Now if we just have a look at the rotor blades, get three of those and um, they're moulded very finely, nice and thin and I think there's a little bit of dihedral on them or that might not be the right word, but um, there's, a, there's a shape to them. They're definitely not very, very straight. There's a bit of a curve to them. But all's well there. Uh, no 
no short shots, no mould issues, very crisp, no mould lines and no ejector pins. So there we are with one of the fuselage halves and um, a few other small bits running through there. Everything again is very crisply moulded. Um, ejector pin marks are in places where you're not going to see them so there's none on any of this uh, nice detail here. Which is good. It's all looking very nice. And um, very fine bracing bars there for the side walls. Then we've got the other side, so we've got raised uh, details there on the dials, so that's raised bezels. Uh, we've got the engine, which is in two halves, so you're just going to need to um, think about the clean-up on the join here between the cylinder heads. And there's a few other small parts running over there. Very fine propeller blade for the front engine. Then we have a small sprue there for the wheels. Very nicely done. Uh, smooth join there, so it should be easy once it's joined just to sand that out and get a nice smooth tyre prefer that than having rubber tyres. Uh, this is the cockpit floor here. There are a couple of ejector pin marks there, but I believe that is where the chairs are going to go. So that should eliminate any problem there. We've got the two chairs here and a few other small parts. These are the parts for the undercarriage at the front. So they go down vertically. Again, all nicely done. Ejector pin marks in clever places. Then the final sprue makes up again a few more, a couple more bits there for the front landing gear or undercarriage, and then the horizontal stabilizers as well, tail wheel, and another piece of uh, sidewall detail. Looks like quite a simple kit. There's not a lot to it, so uh, once you get into it, should make for a very nice quick build. So that is the Mini Art FW uh, C30A Sierra 30A Rotor 671 um, in 135th scale. Very nice kit, a wonderful subject to have made. I mean, you, again, these subjects that are coming out are just getting better and better. So it's it's a real great thing to have. And again, the releases for 2020 just look just as good in many other ways. So absolutely superb. Um, let's hope it keeps keeps going. So if you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more from the channel, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.